I missed you. How was your trip? ISTE was amazing. There were tons of technology sessions, over 20,000 people, and San Antonio was incredible. Ugh, I'm so jealous. I can't wait till I get to go next year. I got you this pin. Oh. Thanks. That's great. You went all the way to San Antonio to the biggest ed tech conference in the world and you got me a pin. Thanks. Guys, we're live. Oh. Hi guys, I'm Keisha. Welcome. I'm Carla. And this is Tech Jam. So we're here to help you get your digital classroom ready for day one. And to do that, we'd like to welcome you to our vlog. That's V-L-O-G, not to be confused with B-L-O-G. So we'll be coming to you on this vlog every month to bring you tools, tips, and updates. Yes, there's gonna be tons of excellent information, so make sure that you subscribe. In fact, Carla, there's a little known secret that we're actually gonna be giving away gifts to some of our subscribers randomly. Well, the one-to-one -one handbook has been updated, so let me show you where to find it on our website. The one-to-one -one Chromebook handbook and administrative guidelines document has been updated for the 2017-2018 school year and can be found on the EBR EdTech website. To access the updated one-to-one -one handbook, browse to ebrschoolsedtech.org. Once at our homepage, mouse over the About menu and select Guiding Documents. The Guiding Documents page is loaded with helpful documents designed to help your school with every aspect of technology integration. Select the link for the one-to-one -one Chromebook Handbook and Supporting Documents. This link will take you to the one-to-one -one Chromebooks for Schools Google Drive area where you can download the handbook, teacher and student training resources, and even this year's startup documents. Selecting the handbook folder gives you access to the updated handbook. This year's handbook features everything you need to support one-to-one -one implementation at your school, including help desk ticket procedures for Chromebooks, Chromebook inventory resources, and a parent and student handbook. If you have any questions after reviewing the handbook, please log in to one of our one-to-one -one online office hours sessions. These will be held August 10th, 11th, and 14th. Check out our website, your email, and the EBR EdTech Q&A forum for links to log into the one-to-one -one online office hours sessions. Many of you have asked for specific support tools. And we are happy to deliver. We actually have a really long list of support that's already available to you. So let me take you on a tour of the support that's available. Last year, we launched Canvas, our district's online professional development and professional collaboration platform. This year, our goal is to bring you more of what you requested, more courses and more choices. To see just a few of the learning opportunities available for this school year, log into Canvas. After logging in, select Courses, All Courses, and Browse More Courses. You'll see we've been busy posting more ways for you to learn when and how you need to learn. Also, the All Courses area is where you can find curriculum and instruction documents for this year and maps, EBR's online professional learning community featuring classroom videos, so don't miss out. If your school is not using Canvas, you're missing critical information and professional development opportunities posted by a variety of EBR departments including accountability, technology integration, curriculum and instruction, ESS, federal programs, human resources, STEM, and much more. All right, our next segment is called You've Got Questions, We've, We've got, got Answers. And today, we've got answers about the help desk. The help desk, because you guys have a lot of questions about the help desk. So I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of what all is available there, because the truth is, Carla, a lot of people don't realize what all you can do with your access to the help desk. Here we are again at the EdTech webpage. In case you haven't noticed, we come here a lot for resources and help, and we hope that you do the same. There's tons of support here for you. Right now, I'm going to show you how to find support for the IT help desk. So if you go to the support menu 
and to the IT Help Desk, there's an entire page devoted to the school due ticket system. You'll find frequently asked questions and answers here, as well as the policy for the Help Desk as an access to school due. You'll also find a summary of what the Help Desk can do for you. There's actually a lot of features and problems and issues that the Help Desk can help you with that you don't realize that they are there for you to help there to help you with. If you continue to scroll down, you'll see the two tutorials are here for you to watch at any time. So if you need help accessing the help desk or if you need help submitting a help desk ticket, both of these tutorials are very helpful. However, if you're not on our webpage and you need access to those tutorials, you can also go to our EdTech YouTube page, look in our created playlist, and Ta-da! Right here, the School Dude Help Desk Ticket System playlist is right here. There's those two videos, and you can watch them whenever you need them. Okay, our next segment is the preview overview. Well, I'll talk to you about the professional development events coming up that you need to sign up for. We have our tech leader training, our Canvas Lunch Lab, Webinar Wednesday, and our Google Boot Camp. And finally, we also have our Google Train the Trainer cohort. So until next time, keep, keep tech, tech jamming. jamming. So we're done, right? Guys, that's a wrap. Awesome. So you sent me a text message that we have a meeting? I'm right here. I just wanted to make sure you knew.